Welcome to Alabama, the birthplace of my papa. It's time to get out of South Florida and explore the rest of the country. We've got the RV in tow, and we're headed to Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. The final episode of our three-part series starts now. What's up, everybody? We're just sitting here at the Florida Panhandle. <laughs> we just made it to Mississippi. We just did the tour of Graceland. We're over here at Stone Mountain. Look at that. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the 9 to 5 grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. You ready? Adventures made possible by you. Support us below. Convenience store is a destination. Just checked in at Fort Morgan RV Park. Man, today killed us. It, oof, a bug. Today killed us. It was like a 10 hour drive, including stopping for gas, potty breaks, you know, and whatnot. And the stopping at Bucky's. <laughs> but we're finally here. Fort Morgan campground. This is Mobile Bay. Right here. We're in Alabama. 
and we're about 20 miles from the Floribama. It's Labor Day weekend and it was just packed coming in. But we're excited. We're gonna stay here for three days instead of two, like we've been doing at all the other campsites. And I feel like this will be a nice ending to our road trip. We're gonna leave Sunday, overnight somewhere, and then hopefully be home back in South Florida by Monday. Check this out. Like a site like this probably would cost hundreds in the Keys, but it was like 170 with tax for three nights. So that's pretty nice. And look at these views. We got one of the last two sites that were available for the weekend. And we were calling for like hours trying to find any campsite that had any sort of availability for the weekend. So we got lucky with this one. It's site number 10. And I mean, I got to say the view's still pretty nice. The bugs are crazy. Bring bug spray. For sure. Good morning, everybody. So we checked in last night to Fort Morgan RV Park. We're here now. Just got up, had some coffee. We got this awesome view here. This place is a kind of really low-key RV park. They only have like 30 or 40 sites. Every one of the sites is either shaded or a waterfront, which they only have a few of. A nice dock you can hang out at. They offer free laundry, Wi-Fi, and all that good stuff. So let's go explore around a little bit. Ever since we heard that famous song off of Kenny Chesney's album, <laughs> the floor bam, we're finally here. We made our pilgrimage. <laughs> Buy a raffle ticket? What, to win the vet? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Where's the What's up? Look at the bras. Oh yeah. We're just sitting right here at the floor of Bama. You've got a... I loaded up on a cup of chillaxification. And I've got Island Girl. Good stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, the menu is pretty much themed after every Kenny Chesney song. Turns out that Kenny Chesney and the owner are actually just like really good friends. So that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go look around the beach. Let's go walk 
on the beach real quick. Poor girl. Dude, they got live music on the beach too. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, y'all. Good. What you drinking today? I thought we ever play out. Let's do Bobby McGee. Well, maybe not, since you got a cute little camera right there. We're not going to do me and Bobby McGee yet. No. I'll shut it off. No, it's okay. No, you're good. Do you work here? No. You're just hanging? Yep. That's cool. Where are you from? South Florida. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I'll do one. I know a little bit better about that. I'll come back to that in a minute. It's raised on 90s country. This is my favorite 90s country song. live music this is probably the bar to be at they got live music in four different spots at this beach bar so you got live music outside on here on the beach you walk inside to their outdoor area there's live music there there's also live music inside on the first floor and you go up to the second floor there's live music there also let's go dip our feet in the gulf it's kind of a dip down here Where are you all from? Fort Lauderdale area. You having a good trip? Where it began, there ain't no way of knowing, but I can feel it. across the street here at the Floribama Old River restaurant. Just got some shrimp, you got some fish. It smells good. I'm gonna dig in now. Mmm. Some good snapper po' oh boy. For a tourist attraction, food's pretty good. It's definitely not like a, a tourist trap with like bad food. Of course, it's no shoes, no shirt, no problem. Yeah. Just have the mind. Man, this 
place is just awesome. There's bars, stages, good weather. Can't beat it. At Fort Morgan today we woke up this morning relaxed a little bit and we're like you know what we're staying in a place called Fort Morgan I think there's a fort here <laughs> Looks like it caught fire uh, when the Confederates were fighting the Union and uh, they had to put over 60,000 pounds of cannon powder into the fort's water cistern to prevent it from exploding. Wow. Yeah. So I think people used to be a lot smaller. Are those bunk beds? Yeah. The I wonder. Barracks. I wonder what that leads to. I don't know. Like a walker. Yeah, it's too bad. Oh, it's really interesting. Oh man, those are pretty steep. Wow. Up. Aiming out to fire away. Yeah. You can maybe swivel crown on or something. I don't know. Yeah, this was definitely a, a cannon spot. You see, it looks right out right there. You fire on ships coming in, maybe. That one actually has a little piece of left that the cannon swiveled on. A few of these do, actually. Hot, hot today. Is it still here? Yeah. This is more intact. Yeah. Oh. Pull this off and take it with them or something? Like, I don't know. Like, why is all this moved? You know? Like, what happened? Very good questions. Is there an explosion? Do you see that yellow smoke? Yeah. What in the world is that? Huh, it stopped. Yeah, okay. That was interesting. In World War II, I guess they wanted to make sure nobody was gonna try to invade Alabama coming up the Gulf. Yeah. So they installed all those guns there. I wonder what was here. Probably an even bigger <laughs> gun that went all the way up there. I don't know. 
who knows oh yeah it was it was a, an even bigger gun two 12 inch breech roading rifled guns could fire a 1046 pound shell eight and a half miles wow so it was deactivated in 23 and the guns were scrapped in 1942 during the second world war oh wow so it could raise up to fire and then drop back down to reload wow a gun that big that could fire a projectile eight and a half miles. I know, that's yeah. pretty insane. Yeah. A thousand pound projectile. Just boom. Do you think this was like where they kept prisoners? No, you go in there. It's a heavy door. Yeah, ain't no way you're busting through that. I wonder if it's in that. Look at those doors. You know how these are? Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like how they have the the rails. If I had a cart, since they kept all the cannonballs along everything else. And yeah, probably. Yeah. So they probably had wood floors in all this. You know, on top of the brick, I'm guessing. There we go. Cool. Thousand soldiers here, 1961. Crazy. Amazing. All right, I think we we saw pretty much everything except this last one. Hired the wives to launder the clothing. Clothing. Consider how distressing must be the life of a lady thrown into such close proximity of rude, vulgar men, forced to hear the obscene remarks, distressing to her and her children. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. I got a little something. Constructed in 1899, looks like. Completed June 4th, 1900. So it's newer. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Blast ships right from here coming, trying to come through, huh? Exactly. The shackle weighs more than most anchors do, you know. <laughs> Is that the beach? Oh, that's the beach over there. Yeah. This is awesome. A lot of history dating back to the Civil War, the World Wars, all kinds of different stuff. It's pretty cool. Time to 
head on out of here on to our next destination. It is hot today. We're gonna stop and get some food here at the shrimp basket. We got the coconut shrimp from Maine. It came with their their famous shrimp slaw and some sort of marmalade. I think orange. It looks good. Mmm, a river. We're back at the Floribama. Gonna head inside and see what's going on. There's a better, a better view. We are way too old to be waiting in a Disneyland line just to get into a bar. Yeah. Do you want to just go back to the campsite and mix our own drinks? Yeah, we can. <laughs> I don't want to see some live music, so let's go down on, over here to the yacht club. across the street of the Yacht Club, the Floribama Yacht Club, came back across and the line's even longer than it was two hours ago. So we're probably gonna just gonna call tonight and head back to our campsite. We gotta get a somewhat early start tomorrow. Got a couple of days of driving ahead of us. So, yeah, it was a good time though, that's for sure, huh? Oh yeah. We got some souvenirs. All time to go. Time to pack it up and hit the road. How excited are you to go to Bucky's? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Look at the line just to get into Bucky's for that. That's crazy. This is what happens when you come to Bucky's. You get a big basket and you fill her up. <laughs> we got a screw in our tire and we're losing air, so. Made a quick pit stop here at Walmart. Gonna patch it up real quick. What's up guys? Don't do that. Please don't. What's up guys? Oh my god. Alright now. So our 10 day... No, I don't want to do that. Like, stuff. So we've been driving, uh... <laughs> what time do we... Does that sound stupid? Yeah. Okay. okay. Welcome back to Broward. Say it again, I was talking. Welcome back to Broward. Alright, this is an Apple and Rob video, so say it with a little bit more pep. Welcome back to Broward. 